Hey everybody, it's Mountain Mike, out on the mountain. So I wanted to ask, do you dole? So there's different ways of judging how much board feet are in a log. And as you can see, I've already scribed here what I have in this particular one. So I bought a dual log scale stick. If you're a logger or a sawyer, you pretty much need one of these in your pocket. Now there's a scale readily available on the internet, just Google dual scale and you'll find it. But I'll put it up right now. No, just kidding. I'll really put it up. Okay, so here it is. I think it would be just as easy to carry the scale card in your pocket and a small tape measure versus the scale stick. But I do like the stick, a handy dandy tool, no doubt. So I wanted to explain it a little bit for those that don't know. Well, first off, there's three different scales that people use, the International, Scribner, and the Dole. So the reason the Dole scale stick is preferred over the other methods is because of the ability to underestimate how much lumber is in the smaller diameter trees. They say it kind of evens out due to all the deductions you get out of a log anyway. And you have to take deductions for rotten, doty, curved, what you're going to lose out of that log. Just because something measures something doesn't mean that's exactly what you'll get out of it. This is, after all, just an estimate. So, I've already calculated this one at 24 and a half. Now let's see how I did it. So this is measuring just right at 11 inches in the bark. So I, it doesn't tell you how to deduct within the inch. So we're just going to calculate it at 11 inches. So the question is, how do you read this thing? Well, right here in the very front, right past your five inch mark, you got the 18, 10, and if you flip it over, you got a 16, 14, and 12. So these numbers represent how long your log is. So if we have a 10 foot log, 13 inches in diameter, and you read the bottom number, you have a 50 board foot log. That's what you should obtain out of that log according to this scale. Now, you notice it didn't have an eight foot, which is, you would think, be the most common on there. But you just take that 16 foot and divide it in half. So again, at 13 inches, an eight foot would be half of 81, 40.5. So, at 11 inches, this cedar is 8 foot long, half of 49, 24.5. So I think it's great. The small diameter of log, you take the measurement off of that inside of the bark, and you can get however many board feet inside that log, depending on how long the log is. I, I think that's a really cool thing. So I don't really just want to figure it out as I saw. I do want to understand what I'm putting up on the mill and what I should be getting out of that log. I think that helps you be a better sawyer, refining your sawing techniques. And that's something definitely that will be a process and that we'll be working on. Anyway, I really appreciate y'all joining me and checking out what's going on with this dual scale stick. So I suggest if you don't have one, you get one. You learn how to use it and you start calculating the board feet in your logs. I think it's essential as a sawyer to know these things. Simple stuff, but just one more thing to do. Well, I'm Mountain Mike, out on the mountain. Till next time, 